I'm Hillary Scott. I'm Boss Lady at Sassy Green Lady LLC. I have a Etsy shop and I have a website where I explore different references to the Golden Girls and relate it sometimes to my life or just everyday life in general. All right, all right, I can pick up a cue. Picture it. I worked at the Trevor Project. So I was there for about two, for two years. And then I left when I got pregnant. And then I figured it would be like six months that I'd be home with him and then I would try to find a job and it would be, and that would be it and I would go back to work. And that's not how it happened. It was really difficult to even get interviews. At the same time, I was also dealing with undiagnosed postpartum depression and anxiety. So that's been something that really affected the end result of this. When you get rejected from a job, I feel like they're basically telling you, mm, you're not really hireable, you're not really good enough. And I'm like, actually I am, actually I am, and I know my worth, and if you can't see it, sorry about that, but then I guess I just have to hire myself because there's nothing else to do about it. I talked to my husband, we decided together, and we were like, if there's any time to do it, try it now. Or like my gut is telling me to stick with this. Every time I see a job posting that I'm like, oh, that's interesting, I'm like, mm, no, no, I'm not gonna apply to that because I just, something's telling me to like stick with this. That was my original uh, Instagram handle just because I was trying to think of three things that described me just as a person. So I like throwing out sass, green's my favorite color, and I consider myself a lady. That's probably debatable to some people, but uh, yeah. And then I started thinking about how I could make that a business. It's really just, Honestly, it's given me a lot of comfort, just in general, at really hard times in my life. It just, it's just given me comfort. Not even watching it, having it on the background, or just having it play, like I'll put it up on YouTube and then I would like actually do work and just hear it in the background. It just gives a lot of comfort. Basically, I wanted something that I would want to wear and that features something that I love and I also like having a tangible product. I take a lot of pride in that, coming out and being able to touch it and say, I made this. I started watching the Golden Girls with my grandma, totally uh, missed a lot of the sex jokes. Well, I can't use this. No, she's right. This violates the privacy of her relationship and I think you should take it back. You're just trying to make that old stupid sweatshirt of yours look better. <laughs> Besides, I can't take it back, I paid in advance. Can't you get a refund? Well, no, I paid with nature's credit card. <laughs> Which is unfortunate, but then I got it back when I started watching it in high school and I just started watching it religiously ever since then. I think that somewhere around season three to five is good because the beginning is the beginning and I feel like the, the writing was still good. I loved the writing at the beginning, but the jokes and the delivery and the, the chemistry between them, I liked as it got further into it. And also what I love is that you don't necessarily have to watch it from start to finish to get it. I mean, if there are recurring characters like Glenn O'Brien, but they catch you up in like the first 10 seconds, like, he's the married guy she shacked up with four years ago. Like, you know, there, done. We put it into context for you. Before you ask me what's the best seller, this is one of them. Big deal, I took a whole place in Not now! <laughs> it also comes in like white and blue and for and I made a gray and black one for anyone who's like a little more gothy, but also likes the Golden Girls. I'm thinking about people. I forgot I didn't get to print for DragCon. You're not gonna give her any trouble. No. You're gonna be Blanche's little helper. Yes. I love you. I love you too. Goodbye, Pussycat. Fasten your seatbelt, slut puppy. <laughs> This ain't gonna be no cakewalk. But um, I, <laughs> this one, you have to be able to wear where you can wear it, you know. I wore it by accident to pick up my kids from daycare. <laughs> this one too. Uh, uh, no, no, Thomas Pinville. Uh-huh, well, after Thomas and I left the mall. Blanche, I could get herpes listening to this story. You can't wear it to pick up your kids, but if you work in like sex ed or something like that, this one is funny. And this one I feel like is, it's rose, it's sweet. So I started, you know, when I started making these, I started trying to uh, to assign like a color t-shirt to a character. So Rose was always pink and Dorothy was blue and Blanche was olive green, but I don't know if people don't like the olive green shirts or they didn't like the 
phrases that were on them? I'm not sure. Uh, it, it, going off of the leaf motif in her room. I think the, of the color t-shirts I was looking at, it just looked very commanding and very um, strong like her. And then Sophia, I didn't have any of any of Sophia's yet. So I was thinking of maybe gray. There, oh, there is like the, cause I'm such a design nerd. I actually took a screenshot of a moment when all of them are sitting at the table. So they're wearing colorful pieces. One was pink, one was, and I took, you know, I told you where I took the other colors, but then there was this almost like orangey, light orange that I think Sophia maybe was wearing. And I zoomed in and like took a pixel, like I dropped it. And, but it doesn't, I don't know. I couldn't find a shirt that got that exact color. So I'm still, I'm still thinking of what I can do for Sophia. I would, I would take specialized orders. They would be probably a little bit more depending on, but if someone wanted like this phrase on a blue shirt with this color ink, like I don't have to me remake the screen. It's the screens that take a significant amount of time. Basically it has to dry for like 12 to 24 hours and then you get one chance to expose it and make sure it's right and if it's not right you have to start all over again so you can be put off by like a week if you can't get the exposure time right so that's more what it's a you know what it's a question of but if someone were to say you know can I just have a different color shirt with a different color ink with a phrase you already have I'd be like yeah I don't care I could keep working like 24 hours, either making shirts or photoshopping myself into things or coming up with like blog content. I could just keep doing that over and over and over. And to me, that says a lot about what you should be doing and what you shouldn't be doing just in life in general. I feel like if you feel like you could do something forever, then maybe that's a sign. You can find Sassy Green Lady on Etsy. I have a blog, sassygreenlady.com. My handle is at sassygreenlady on Instagram, so feel free to follow along. Say hi to me, please, because I like when people do that. Look for me at some upcoming fairs and festivals. I hope to be selling some stuff.